Well, my name is Wally Nell. I'm a, a photographer here in uh, Cairo, Egypt, and I've lived here for six years. January 28th, named the Day of Anger by the protesters, and I went out to go and photograph the protests. A police armored vehicle approached us from the other side of the bridge, took aim and shot me in the back and in the back of the head. There were gunshots everywhere. I mean, on the protesters, there were there were tear gas being fired, there was gunshots being fired at people. And I mean, the first thing that I heard was uh, a gunshot and then something whistled by. And then Dana, the other photographer, shouted, they're shooting at us, run! So I turned around and uh, n next thing I was hit in the head. Uh, I mean, it sounded like a baseball a baseball bat hitting a piece of wood. <laughs> An Egyptian man uh, basically came to us and then led us through all the all the tear gas uh, to the Hilton Hotel close by, where they cleaned me up. We eventually decided that that we would leave. Uh, she uh, chose to go to the CNN building, which is about four or five buildings further on. But when we got to the outside of the hotel, uh, when we looked right, there were police, and when we looked left, there were police. However, at about that time, uh, they started the, the call to prayer, and we recognized that when they have the call to prayer, that they don't fire on protesters. So we ducked out and went onto the Corniche, which is the road that runs along the Nile, uh, she then turned north to the the CNN building, and I turned uh, south to go to to go towards the uh, suburb I live in, which is Mardi. Uh, but on both sides, there were just hordes of police, and I had no hope of of getting through them. So I looked down to the river, and there was a ferry boat, not a ferry boat, one of those pleasure boats. Uh, with uh, that take about 20 people and lots of blinking lights. So I went down there and I offered them a whole bunch of money and they laid me on the on the floor, put a blanket over me so the police wouldn't be able to see me. And they took me under the bridge past all the police and dropped me about a mile further south. Uh, so, yeah, that was part of the adventure. I did the Indiana Jones thing and, you know, found a way out. <laughs> After that, the following day, I I went to a hospital where I got treated. Uh, I was told that uh, that that the lead would work itself out, which I'm not so sure about. But I was in a on a program of antibiotics, and I am healing up. So hey, that's great. Good news. It's shocking to me because I'm used to as a journalist that. That, that there's a level of respect for uh, journalists and so on.